Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Sagittarius is going to be one of their true intentions and love. And I have your array of oracle cards here, Sagittarius, because you guys know how I am. I put uh, several oracle cards down here. I do. Um, these are general readings, so I need as much info as I can get on you guys. Yeah. Let's see. We Let's see, we have, because you guys are always up to, like, mischief, because you guys are the rebel and the horoscope. I don't know if you guys know that. Let's see what else we have, and I'm just kind of teasing about that. And we have the coward, OMG, but we have the courage card over here, Sagittarius. And we also have <coughs> transformation, and uh, we also have this wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom, we have longing for home with the Starseed Oracle and homesick for the stars. The Knight of the Soul is here. This is an awakening. This is somebody who has uh, realized here kind of what they had all along. Like it's they have realized some kind of, uh, they've gone through an awakening here, but about something that they, that kind of was like was right in front of them or some kind of like, like obvious situation, but this person, or obvious knowledge kind of, but this person here is like, you know, he kind of had to let them, maybe your person had to let something really kind of difficult happen to them for them to wake up and realize that they love you, because that's what I feel like this reading is already about, because the coward card start, you know, it's the last card here, but I feel like what this means, you know, the courage card is here too, and they are conflicting cards or energies, your person or you had, uh, uh, you know, I was going to say not a coward, but somebody who was fearful in the past, they have courage now. Yeah, they do. Uh, to transform this, and they could be missing you here. Homesick for the stars, longing for home. And this is a passionate situation, all right? Yeah, it's passionate. Uh, because the passion part is there, oh, do. And then we also have uh, heaven, Sagittarius. Heaven can talk about, it can talk about transformations, right? And it can talk also about... Uh, kind of challenges, but now somebody is really using their intuition. You could be dreaming about this person or they're dreaming about you. Yeah, it's what the heaven is can be. It's an interesting card. It could also be about maybe you're dreaming about other things, kind of ancestors, you know, as well. I feel like right now you or your person is kind of really into their intuition, right? Yeah, definitely. And so let's see what we have uh, for you. And we're going to use the housewife's deck, Sagittarius, because we know you're real. Uh, your real goal in life is to be a, a housewife, right? I'm just teasing you guys. You could be a man. You could be saying, what? <laughs> I know it was for me when my kids were really little. I was like, yeah, I don't want to go to work and come home and stress. I want to take care of my kids and be with them, have fun with them and cook. And, you know, and then when my husband comes home, uh, you know, things will be kind of, uh, it just won't be so much stress running around and all this other stuff, right? So let's see what we have. And let's look at your energy, uh, Sagittarius. The bottom of the deck here is a Knight of Swords. This could be a bad boy. Like somebody, maybe this person was a bad boy, or maybe you were. <clears throat> but this is somebody who, like, who kind of worries about somebody. It, it is. They worry about, like, uh... It's just somebody who is kind of fearing here because somebody has been kind of a rebel. Remember I was talking about a rebel earlier, but these two little girls, her hearts are fluttering, and, you know, here comes kind of like Fonzie. I don't know if you guys remember Fonzie, but here comes this guy on the motorcycle, uh, and this, you know, he's good looking here. I don't think Fonzie was good looking, but this guy's good looking. He's got his pompadour and his leather jacket and his, uh, his jeans. That's how men used to dress back in the day, a lot of the guys. Not all of them, but kind of like the bad boy guys, right? Uh, yeah, and so this is at the bottom of the deck. This person could have been a bad boy type, right? Kind of. So let's see. And uh, let's see what we have for you and your person, Sagittarius. And we're going to use this deck. We used this in Capricorn's Extended. And let's see what we have. In the recent past, Capricorn, I mean Sagittarius, you had the High Priestess. So this is, you know, secret, secret syrup. The mysteries of the universe are sweeter than you know. This is really Mrs. Butterworth's uh, product. But uh, the reason why they're using Mrs. Butterworth is because there was butter in it uh, as like a secret. That was part of her secret, right? Somebody was complaining about this card. I'm like, oh, come on, go somewhere, all right, please. So, <laughs> but, you know, uh, this is a secret, and I feel like you could have been a secret in the past, yeah, and uh, and for all it's worth, whoever was complaining about this card, uh, you know, about Mrs. Butterworth, right, uh, she 
you know, was, <clears throat> this was known as a really good product because it had butter in it, and that is really the point of it. There's nothing, somebody else is reading into, you know, a different side of it. So let's look at your energy right now, uh, Sagittarius, and stay with me, please. <clears throat> the point of this is that I feel like you were a secret in the past. I feel like you were. Mm -hmm. And the Seven of Cups is showing up, uh, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is, like, making a, a careful choice, right? The lady's looking at all these uh, cocktails. They're just using this analogy because these are supposed to be, you know, uh, women here, of course, like, or housewives or anybody here. But this is about uh, a really, it's a careful choice because she's looking at all these delicious drinks in front of her. Yes, she is. And we have the star card reversed. This is the challenge for you, Sagittarius. I don't usually read these in the reverse, but I can say in the reverse, this is all about, like, success or winning. It's in the reverse. You feel like you haven't had success with this person. Uh, this is not typically about healing. This lady has won the cherry, the cherry pie, uh, you know, the cherry pie contest over at the county fair. Maybe it's a state fair, whatever. She got uh, number one here. This person is a prize to you, and you want to win with them. You want success. And uh, maybe you were waiting in the past. Maybe you were. And this is your challenge right now. And this person, maybe this is you longing for them. Uh, what I'm feeling here, though, is that it is it is them. But let's have a look here. You guys could both be longing for each other. The Ace of Swords is what you want or you're hoping for. And this is, you know, and now we have, you know, all these cakes here. Maybe this is victory. Uh, it could be mm -hmm, because, you know, this is the cake contest now, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, they got this artificial pink, pink uh, frosting on here. No, it's not made from strawberries or cherries. It's just artificial. <coughs> I can't stand that stuff, right? <laughs> Even when I was a kid, I didn't like that. No, right? Somebody give you a, a sucker. Oh, here. <coughs> I don't really mean the little red or purple ones, though. Those are... I'm just talking about the ones that have all this fake frosting. I'm like, oh, no, thanks. And they're like, what? And the hermit card uh, is what you are fearing, Sagittarius. You could be really in love with a Virgo. This has to do with healing, the hermit. It does. Uh, and this lady's taking a bath here, and she's she's kind of, she's taking a chill out here. Um, it could be for healing. It could be for understanding something. We're going to see in a minute. Your person's past energy is a strength card uh Sagittarius yes it is them as I was saying because you know uh the card here is showing up excuse me the coward showing up last I feel like they were it's showing up last because they were uh a coward and now in the recent past they got their strength right this could be Leo but here is the courage card so they did get their courage this is them as what I was saying, I feel like I was saying that, and they were the fearful one. They were kind of the weenie in the past, or the wishy-washy. And justice they have now. And, uh, the, you know, the lady, the housewife, she's given her, her little uh, redhead son, you know, very cute, she's given him a spanking. But, you know, he's saying ow, but he's a little bit laughing, kind of, I think, because, you know, she's not beating him, she's giving him a spanking. You know, right now you can't give your kids a spanking. Uh, because they might, you know, call, uh, call the, you know, call the the GOV on you, and then they're going to say you're, uh, you know, you're abusing your kids. They they want that. They want to break up the family, right? The, the nuclear family, especially. Yeah, they they want all this kind of ugliness here. Divide, and the hierophant showing up, you guys, and this is going to be in your person's challenge. This is wisdom and harsh truths, right? They're showing the TV, right? which is really kind of interesting here, and uh, it's off. This is in the middle of the night. I remember this uh, this this thing, this look here. It's kind of like the color spectrum, right? It is, but the point about it here is that uh, this is harsh truths uh, in the, you know, in the challenge for them. This could, they didn't want to face it. I feel like that's it. They didn't want to face this harsh truth or this wisdom that they gained because they're not showing the picture here on the screen on the TV, the old TV from like the 50s, early 60s. This is from the 50s, though. This is, yeah, definitely. But they're not showing, you know, the picture here because your person didn't really want to see the pig picture. They didn't want to accept this. This, is, this was the challenge. They have gained their wisdom now, and they know here that they, they really miss you. And I feel like this is them longing for home, homesick for the stars. They have gained their wisdom, and this is what challenged them to get off their, you know, off their butt here. Now they want to transform this with you. 
Yeah, they've gone through an awakening. I said that at the beginning of the reading. The night of the soul, this person has gone through an awakening. And it's next to the heaven card. So they have been really kind of using their intuition here. They could have been dreaming about you. Yeah, this heaven card is about the divine. Uh, you know, God is the divine, but it is about that. It is. And let's see what they want, Sagittarius. And they want the Eight of Wands. So this is progress. You know, this lady, uh, this is change. This is the Eight of Wands, and she wants to fly up into the air, and she's on her broom. Uh, she's not a witch. She's like a pretty housewife. She's got all these brooms and mops because, you know, uh, that's her job to, you know, keep her house nice. And so let's see what uh, your person is fearing. They are fearing the Page of Cups. They're afraid you're not going to water the love, Sagittarius. That's exactly what he's doing. They're afraid here that you're not going to, like, uh, you know, meet them halfway and, like, nurture this situation. Yes, they are. But they want progress. This reading is already clear with these oracle cards and my, my spread here. All right? Yeah. And I'm looking at this cherry pie, Sagittarius, and I'm thinking I want some cherry pie. <laughs> I like berry better, but, you know, uh, sugar actually cuts your magnesium. So if you guys are eating a lot of sh uh, sugar in your diet, alcohol or sugar, uh, you know, you could be, it could be harder for you to sleep at night. You could have a little bit more anxiety. <clears throat> uh, magnesium will help you, uh, women with menstruation and problems and things like that. Yeah, it's really interesting <clears throat> about magnesium. <clears throat> I didn't know that. That's why sugar is so really bad for you. Not, I mean, other, you know, it's not good to have high sugar in your blood. But let's keep going, Sagittarius, because uh, you could be saying, um, I don't care about that. I want to eat that pie, uh, Power and Light, and I'm going to have one of these uh, these, alco these alcoholic drinks here with a lots of Coke in it or something like that. <laughs> so let's see here. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's just clarify these cards a tiny bit, Sagittarius, uh, because the reading is already clear. Uh, I feel like you want, you know, your challenge is to heal, is to have success with this person, like to win. You could have felt like a loser in the past with them, possibly. Maybe not a loser, but you were a secret. You were in the past. And you're making this here, right now you have the Seven of Cups. Uh, this could be you making a, a really hard choice, but I feel like if you are wondering if they have made a choice to come forward, I feel like this could have been going on for a little while. So let's see uh, why you have the Seven of Cups. Show me why that's there for Sagittarius and the Knight of Swords. You're wondering if this bad boy type of person is making that choice. And I say they're a bad boy kind of because... It's not somebody who's really bad, right? Who you know beats their women and stuff like that. Uh, this could be a it could be a woman too. It could be a female here. But my point is, because you might be a man, or even if you are a woman, this could be uh, the same sex. It could be. My whole point about this is that <clears throat> this is somebody who's kind of a rebel, and I feel like you are analyzing whether or not they are making a choice about you, because the sevens are all about uh, like you know analyzing and careful choices. The Empress. So here you are, and the Empress is somebody who is uh, like somebody really loving and nurturing out of this deck. And here they are fearing you're not going to nurture their situation. And I think, I don't know if I was saying that earlier, you, you guys are both missing each other. That's what this reading is about. All right, Sagittarius? Recipes for success. You're wondering if they are making, uh, that's what the lady is, you know, She's at her little show, her little, uh, her little uh, commercial, because uh, she has a brand new, you know, uh, recipe she does. She's a housewife, but that's what they used to do. They used to go, <clears throat> you know, enter into these contests and go on TV with, you know, hey, uh, <clears throat> I have this new uh, way to make this or this new recipe, whatever. But this is, you know, you're wondering if they are making uh, a choice to like have success with you because this is your challenge success the star <clears throat> this person I feel like you both are kinda of like a prize to each other yeah and what you want is the ace of swords and the queen of wands this is you Sagittarius look it <clears throat> you have your hand out like are you coming God, I'm tired of waiting. Look at the lady, if you guys can see the uh, the card, if you you know if you can look at the, the reading. It's hilarious. This is what you want. You're like, when are you going to show up? I'm tired of this. Yeah, let's look at the Queen of Swords. 
I'm tired of waiting for you, all right? Yeah, I got my big broom here. I might clobber you for just taking too long. So let's look at the Ace of Swords for you, uh, Sagittarius. And uh, this is what you want, upcoming ordeal. See, nobody really wants this. So this is what you've been dealing with, kind of. Maybe you are dealing with, maybe there's an upcoming ordeal. Maybe. I don't think so. I think you want to release yourself from these challenges. This is about challenges. Yeah, you want to release yourself from this. Maybe you want them to, <clears throat> maybe you want, possibly you want them to end another situation. You know, I, I don't know if that's the, the case here. <clears throat> I do think you were a secret in the past, though. The high Priestess over here. Uh, let's see, though. This is challenges here. I feel like you want maybe them to kind of fix their challenges. Yeah, because they look like they were kind of, uh, they didn't have a lot of courage in the past. The coward card is here, you guys. Okay, so let's see what else we have. And the Seven of Pentacles. So for me, the Seven of Pentacles is about, Sevens are always about, like, analyzing. And this lady here is wondering what she's going to get. She planted these. She's waiting to see what her garden of pentacles is. She's walking by it to see what it's going to reap. You want to know here what's going to happen. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is in the standard deck as well. You want to know what's going to happen. And this is like challenges. You've been dealing with this for a long time. Longing for home, homestick for the stars. Uh, and then, you know, and this Knight of the Soul card, nobody just pops into that energy. It takes time. This has been going on, I feel. The Hermit card is what you are fearing with the Five of Swords. You could be afraid here that they're not going to maybe manage their time and really maybe cut somebody out. This is, uh, right, the dress is here where you know the Five Scissors are there. The Five of Swords are like, it's a very challenging energy. It is about, it can be about cutting somebody out. It can be. I feel like you're afraid they're not going to maybe cut somebody else out. You could be afraid here that uh, that they don't have a lot of time or something like that. Like, or they're not managing their time well enough to come forward. Something like that. Let's see what else we have. Seven of Wands. This is more challenges. And let's look at that. Uh, let's see what we have for the Seven of Wands for uh, showing up here in this. Let's see the Five of Swords first, right? Uh, where the lady is... Oh, this is somebody who thinks they can do it all. This The Five of Swords in this deck is somebody who uh, realizes they can't, uh, you know, they can't be... Uh, a movie star, a nurse, and uh, a housewife all at the same time, right? Uh, nobody has enough time to do all those things. Uh, they could, you could be fearing that uh, maybe they are not managing their time well, or I just feel like you, maybe you just feel like you've been limited here, like limited, and 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 there is that here because this person is going to come forward, and I feel like in the past you were waiting and you were a secret. You felt like they were kind of limiting you, something like that. So let's look at the Seven of Wands here. Uh, interesting. You could be also kind of doubting that they are managing their time well. This could be about a Virgo with the Hermit card. And let's see what it has to say about these Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where are they? Let's see. And the Five of Swords is uh, Retreat. No, this is no. This is Accepting Limitations. I feel like you are... Yeah, I feel like you're afraid that they're not going to accept some limitation. Like, you could be wanting them to choose you. It's possible they're with somebody else because you were the secret. So over here, you could be fearing they're, they're not going to accept some type of limitation. Like, you could be afraid here that they're not really missing you, that they haven't placed you high above, and that they're going to accept some limitation in their life and just stay where they're at. Like, just like people do. People stay in limiting situations because, and they don't go get what they really, really want. I feel like that's what you're afraid of. Yeah, you are. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the Seven of Wands showing up for you, Sagittarius. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, this is challenges, like I said, fighting back and crises. Maybe you're afraid that they're not going to fight back in another situation. I feel like this is about a Virgo for some of you guys. You're fearing they're not handling something about their life, and that is affecting you. Like, maybe they're not going to leave somebody. Uh, maybe they're going to accept. Yeah, this is about accepting limitations, the Five of Swords. I feel like you are afraid that they are going to accept 
some limitation, and that's going to stop them from coming forward. Yeah, I feel like that's it. It could, it could be about anything. It could be about maybe a family. Maybe they live far away, something like that. Strength card showing up for them, the Seven of Swords. This is, in the past, they got courage uh, maybe to kind of really kind of get over on somebody. I, I say that because the Seven of Swords is gossip, thieves, and backstabbers in this particular deck. And we see the three ladies uh, gossiping here. Uh, and this lady's getting ready to cut them out. Look, she's holding her swords up like, you know, you've been talking about me and my man for a long time. It's time for me to, like, deal with you. <laughs> but in the past, your person got the strength. They got the courage. People could have been gossiping about them. They got the courage, I feel like, to come forward. The hangman. So they could be, maybe they're Pisces, but they could be cutting somebody out. And they could have got the courage to, like, I feel like there's gossip here that this, this person was coming forward, that they are. I feel like they're with somebody, and whoever they're with is telling their friends or their family that they have been kind of a thief, kind of, and now they have the courage to go, come towards you. Mm -hmm. And this hangman card, it could be showing up here. Uh, this lady's hanging her, you know, hanging her man out to dry because he did something to her. She's hanging him up next to the panties, right? Yeah, and so here she is hanging hanging her man up upside down, and she's kind of laughing like, you know what, don't screw with me. Like she's sacrificing him here. I feel like in the past your person could have had the strength to sacrifice somebody else in order to be with you. Because you're worried here that they are not, that they're going to accept some limitation. I feel like that limitation is another situation for some. I feel like it is. Because they had, uh, they were a coward in the past. And the Five of Cups, this is ruin and misfortune. And people were talking about them. They ended something in the past. Wow. Their current energy is justice. Maybe they're Libra. Let's see what we got. And the Queen of Cups. They look like... Uh, you know, I mean, they could be this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be them bringing you justice. But this Queen of Cups could be this hangman over here, Pisces. It can be somebody who's making a decision. The lady sitting there, you know, uh, having a drink. It's supposed to be somebody who's uh, sometimes compassionate, but she is making some type of a decision. Let's see uh, with her her cocktail. Let's see what we got for the Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's this Pisces over here for some, for sure. Let's see what it says about the Queen of Cups. And we have the card of intoxication, emotions, and introspection. So, you know, uh, yeah, this is introspection. This is them, like, like, you know, just studying the situation. Intoxication, emotions. They could be drinking too much right now. They could be, uh, I don't think this is about bringing you justice. I feel like they could be going through a divorce or filing for divorce if for some. Because here's the Hierophant, and this is marriage, and this justice card can be divorce. And they have the Five of Cups. This is ruin and misfortune, like an ending. And you were a secret here, Sagittarius, in the past. Right? So, you know, let's see. The justice card is, you know... Uh, their first card. Let's see what that has to say. But it is about some type of bringing justice, fairness, fairness, rewards, and punishments. They could be dealing with somebody who is punishing them right now. And people were uh, talking about that in the past. They could be kind of punishing somebody else here because they want to come forward to be with you. Their challenge is a harsh truth. Somebody else here might know about their harsh truth. Right? And it is wisdom. The night of the soul brings wisdom. Turn knowledge into wisdom with the wolf spirit. So let's see what else we have for you, Sagittarius, for your person. Uh, where are those cards at? Let's see. And this is the energy they're in right now. Let's see what else they have. And the world card. This is the end of a journey. They're ending something right here. They could be drinking a lot. People could have been talking about them a lot. This is introspection. But they could be drinking a lot. They have the bad boy was at the bottom of the... Where's the bad boy? Right here. And, you know, 
I just feel like for some of you guys, they could be drinking a lot right now. They could be filing for divorce, justice in the world card, or telling somebody they, they like a punishment, like a justice, like, I want to end this journey, the world card. This is an ending. It is. It can be a great achievement here, but uh, with the Five of Cups over here, uh, this lady's pulling her hair out. The drinks are on the floor, and uh, her hair is like, it's a mess. And, you know, she's uh, really upset here. The Hierophant is their challenge with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Nine of Pentacles is a self-sufficiency. The lady has her dishwasher like I can do, you know, I can, it's almost like being single. This is in the reverse in, the, in their challenge with harsh truths and wisdom. I feel like they're dealing with somebody who knows that they want they want to leave, and they th this person knows that they want to be with you. I feel like that's it. The death card, see? I told, so I just said, I just said they want to end it, and this person knows they want to be with you and end it with them. They could have to end a marriage here. <clears throat> I mean, there's different ways to look at this, of course, right? Uh, this could be saying uh, different ways, but the same message. They could be ending a marriage, here a death card, and this is a harsh truth in their challenge. Like this wisdom gained is very harsh. Remember, the person went through an awakening, the night of the soul. And this, I said that at the beginning of the reading, this is a hard awakening. The guy's drowning the guy, and the guy's waking up with that drowning. He, he asked him a question about some type of wisdom, and the guy goes, and the guy immediately pushes him down into the water. And then when he comes up, he, he has his wisdom. Yeah, they had to go through something really hard here in order to learn this, that they are longing for you and you are the one. Yeah, and they have missed the passion between you guys. What they want is the Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is to make a decision. It's this impartiality, right? And uh, It could be, but let's see why the Eight of Wands is there. And then, uh, let's see, where is that little book, the handy booklet here? And let's see why the Eight of Wands is showing up. This is change for sure. And we have travel, flight, and growth. So this is change. <clears throat> uh, they, want, they want growth. They want travel. They want to leave their situation. Flight. They want to fly the coop. This is what they want with the situation they're in. Two of Swords. Yeah, they're in a situation where they're drinking a lot for some of you guys. The Two of Swords... Not everybody. Some people could be saying, oh, my person doesn't drink. Two of swords showing up here. Conflicts, opposing views, and impartiality. They want to leave a situation where there is conflict. This is what they want. Right now, uh, this Nine of Pentacles reversed next to the Hierophant. This is them, and with the Death card too. This is them. The challenge is to be single and end the situation they're in. And they are ending it now, it looks like. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know why they look like they're kind of still sitting there. This is what I don't get. Maybe they own a house with somebody, and maybe maybe they're moving out July, uh, August 1st. I'm not really sure, but that is what's showing up here. And in their page, the Page of Cups is they're worried here, Sagittarius, that you're not going to water their love. You're not going to give to the situation, right? The little boy's watering the flowers, and the flowers are his family. Page of Wands, this is the mischievous page. Wow. They're afraid you're not going to water the situation because they were kind of like the bad boy here. I, that's what I'm getting in this in this in this uh, reading because we have the bad boy here, and here is the page of wands, and this is mischief. That's what it, the guy, you know, the little boy here is. You know, he is. He has his boxing gloves. He has his crown on. I mean, he's doing all these different things, kind of like he's mischievous, right? He's got a gun. He's got. Uh, he just got all this stuff. Like he's playing three roles at one time. Your person is afraid here. I feel like that they were kind of playing you a little bit. Yeah, and you're not going to nurture. That's what that is. OMG. Uh, let's see. And that they weren't serious with this mischievous, right? With the mischievous card, the Page of Wands. Let's see what it says. And imagination, fun, loving, and creativity. Okay. <clears throat> uh but, okay, this is a charismatic child with an active imagination and a wellspring of energy. A fun-loving explorer, he likes being the center of attention. He may indicate the need to find a creative use uh, for a skill. You long thought merely functional. The card can also herald the need for growth to bring your dreams to reality. This person is afraid they're not going to bring their dreams to reality with you and that you're not going to water their love. We're going to end the reading, you guys, <clears throat> and we're going to go over to the extended. 
And uh, we're going to see, Sagittarius, the underlying energies, what's on their mind, how they feel about you, their near future, how they see the situation, what you don't know about them, and of course their true intentions, right? Yeah, this person is ending a situation with somebody and people are gossiping about them. And I feel like they're drinking too. OMG for whoever this... <clears throat> I feel like that part is going to resonate with somebody. It is. They're all super affordable, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me.